Hello everyone and welcome back to Good Evening from Korea, the show made by a guy who does nothing but think about, read about, and watch videos about cars. Where he tries his best not to talk about any of those aspects of his life. Good Evening from Korea. But, uh, for all intents and purposes, we should just get down to it, because I don't know what for all intents and purposes really implies, so we should just get into that before we dwell on it too long. Uh, I am zoomed in a little bit more today, just because I'm trying a different angle, because if I zoom out, like, a little bit, you get that little, get that little guy, just kind of hanging out up there, and you get this little guy, just hanging out in here, and it annoys the heck out of me. So I try to bring it in a little bit, just kind of cut those guys out just, just a little bit as much. That's way too close, and I don't know. It's a, it's a constant battle. You can still see a little bit of black. Nah, I'll just bend my TV. That works. But welcome back. This one's going to be fully edited, and it's going to have actually quite a bit of editing because I woke up today at maybe around 8 o'clock. I didn't have my alarm on, and I slept quite well. Slept all the way through the night. Got up, tried to take my shower. It was cold. Didn't know what to do. Decided to play Grand Theft Auto and treat myself to a breakfast of delicious not only Raisin Bran, but blueberry waffles. Ego. Because frozen stuff is obviously good for you. Which is why I eat these constantly. But that is something for another day, where I probably go to the hospital to make sure I'm not dying of calcium overdose. These are calcium, right? I checked. They're calcium. So I had that nice little breakfast. Uh, realized that I didn't charge my scooter battery at all, so I can't really go anywhere unless I walk there, and I'm not a pleb. And also I need to make excuses as to why I spent two grand on a scooter. So... I was stuck in the room all day. Not that I needed to go anywhere, I just kind of wanted to go on a drive. But, to be honest, it has not been super warm today. It is 8.51 at night, and it is 44 degrees outside and raining. So, I don't think I missed anything. So, instead of going anywhere and doing anything productive, guess what I did? That's right, I played video games and texted people a little bit. And the video game of the day was, guess what? It was Grand Theft Auto. Duh. What else do you think it was? But, it was very much just a take your time, relax, kind of hang out. Uh, session of Grand Theft Auto because most of the time I was using my secondary monitor here that keeps creeping into the screen because of that little angle it's at to listen to YouTube music not only for the UNC video but for a video I want to make I mentioned some time ago that I kinda wanted to put GTA clips into some kind of a music video of some kind and I have been experimenting more with focusing on that trying to kind of start maybe a small project. I don't want to do it very much. I don't want to do it very long. Maybe just a one or two specific songs, but it's very hard to find one that is not only good for the kind of content that I can make out of GTA, which is shooting, driving fast, and maybe jumping out of a plane or something. Kind of higher octane, not a lot of pretty stuff. Maybe some sunrises and sunsets, but that's about the most you'll get out of GTA. And what I mean by focusing in on that is I was just kind of trying to drive cars in certain areas where I thought it would be kind of cinematic to drive through and different from each other area. So I tried to drive one in maybe like kind of the city area, one in kind of the downtown area where it's like a little bit less kind of high rises, kind of just more small houses packed together. I tried to drive one kind of out in the mountains. I tried to drive one out in the desert, I tried to drive one on the beach, and I tried to make some variety with it. Uh, the big difficulty is, of course, as I've put up shots in previous videos, when you use the cinematic camera, it usually causes you to crash because you can't see where you're going. Because how, how you guys see those clips is how I see the road when I'm driving. So all I can see is like six inches in front of my right wheel. That's not very good for driving. Who knows what's happening on the left side of the car. Honestly, that's kind of been good for me once or twice because I've crashed on the left side and I just don't include the audio and you can't really tell in the video. So it's helped in some cases, but in most cases it just makes it really difficult. So I'm still looking for someone who will play this dang game with me so I can actually record some camera shots and put together something kind of interesting. But didn't find any fantastic music to use. Got a couple of good shots. I will put those in later as I can explain what I kind of did more in GTA. So my plan for the day was to get three cars, and I succeeded in that. 
and to maximum upgrade all three of those cars. I succeeded in that as well. That meant generating around $2.4 million or something like that. And I refused to do it efficiently because that would be intelligent. And you have been watching this channel long enough to know that I am not that. And if you haven't been watching this channel long enough, then you're probably new. Welcome. Please subscribe. The number 13 is unlucky. And maybe that's why I keep uploading camera, like, footage. You made me stumble on that sentence. How dare you? Subscribe if you're new. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Anyway, when I went into that, I did it very inefficiently and just did, like, five different kinds of missions and, like, nothing all that good. There's a mission in that game where if you do it right, you can get, like, $1.7 million in maybe, like, an hour and a half. I don't do that one. I would I would say intermittent, if that's how you say that word. It, you know how on windshield wipers it can be intermittent, intermittent, intermittent. 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 I would use the word intermittent to describe how my internet issues were kind of on and off because it kind of just went back and forth it wasn't great my connection is never good on this computer but it was okay today I kept suffering really bad frame drops because my system memory was freaking out and I don't know why because I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on this computer that's a fair bit your phone, your smartphone that you paid like $700 for, has four. If it's good. Mine has four. Mine was 570 bucks. And so my computer has four times the processing power of your phone. Your phone never slows down when it has the 10 million apps open. You know this if you've ever opened your mother's phone and seen the 45 different pages that she has open because she doesn't like And so you'd think that a computer could run one game and not die. But unfortunately, something is wrong with my computer, and I am not a computer whiz. I wish I was. I have friends who are computer whizzes, but I kind of feel bad when I hit somebody up. I'm like, hey, I need your help, because I'm very bad at communicating with people. That's why I started the channel. And I don't want to just call somebody out of the blue and be like, help. I know he would. He's a great guy. He's helped me before, and I've done that before. But it makes me feel bad every time. I've tried to talk to him extracurricularly, where I don't need him, just as like a a good friend thing. But to be honest, we have very little in common other than the fact that we play video games, and he plays very vi different video games from me, aka all I play is GTA and Forza Horizon 5, and Forza Horizon 5 is a broken buggy mess, and GTA 5 is also a broken buggy mess, so he doesn't play either of those. But I have to figure out some kind of solution to that because, I mean, I cannot have anything going on this computer if I have something else open. If I have GTA open and literally just an, a Google Chrome tab, not even Google Chrome, I have something called Opera GX, which allows you to limit the amount of RAM and the amount of CPU usage that the browser can have. And I have it set to a hard limit and it never even reaches that limit. So I know it's not like capping out anything but my computer is still just dying. I had recordings today where I was trying to make those clips for possible music videos. Just didn't save, just didn't work because system memory was out. I tried to open up a Google tab in the Opera. It runs off of Google. It just like has like a kind of a template over it. I tried to search something in Google and it just said out of memory error, cannot search. Out of memory, I have 275 gigabytes of hard storage left and then a 16 gigabyte RAM. I, I don't know how this stuff works. I, I just don't. Maybe there's some kind of memory storage that I haven't cleared of like, I don't know, game logs or something. But I've looked it up and I've tried to do that and I don't understand any of the walkthroughs. I've done some of them and they didn't seem to make a dent. Who knows if I did them right. But ugh, that was really the only issue I had today, which... It was good, because that's all I did. I will say one thing, though. I did make, technically, kimchi, which is a uh, Korean meal. Technically, this was also out of a Korean Army MRE, 
which I have been saving for just such an occasion that I made completely wrong, accidentally misused the water heating element in there and ended up just microwaving it, but it was still good. But I did have kimchi today. That was my lunch dinner because I had like, I think I had like a granola bar at like one o'clock. And then by like 4.30, I was like, I should probably eat. So I had that. So that was my lunch dinner, mostly dinner. And it was pretty good. I I didn't take any pictures of it because I'm not weird. And I didn't film myself eating it because, to be honest, those parts where I try out little Korean things, I hate because mouth noises. Trust me, all the mouth noises I make, the little... I hate them too. I hate them too. I might actually cut that part. In fact, editing me, just cut that audio. Just cut it. Just get it out. But yeah, that, that's really the only thing I did today. I do have the supplies to make another cheesecake, so I probably will make another cheesecake. That's probably going to be tomorrow. I have a lot of plans tomorrow. I want to go out into Korea, get some snacks, ship that back to somebody back home. I want to probably get a haircut because I'm getting a little bit long. My hair can be at, if my hair goes down to my eyebrows, it's like out of regulations. And it's, it's just, you, you can see it tapping the top of the eyebrow there. So I might get a haircut. Might go for a drive. I kind of need to pick up groceries, at least two milks. Like, little spots here and there. So I'm definitely going to have to charge my scooter battery. So, as I was saying a long while ago, before I got off on a tangent, I wanted three cars in GTA. Now, these cars were, let me see if my memory is good, the Imponte, Imponte, Imponte? I've never said that out loud. Uh, Imponte Nightshade, which is a... Camaro, like a second, like a 2.5 gen Camaro with like a mutated hood. Like it looks like the, like a second gen, here, here, here. it looks like, like a second gen Camaro and like that one, like nineties Jaguar with the four headlights melded. I don't know how big those pictures will be like, kind of like this, but I have footage of it and I'll show it in a minute. Uh, then I got the ah the shyster deviant. Now, GTA likes to make puns with inappropriate humor, and I think shyster is a joke on scheisse, which is German for the English bad word for poop. Uh, and deviant I think is like a bad guy or like a angry teenager or something. Uh, anyway, it looks. Like that, which is basically an AMC Javelin. I am all for an AMC Javelin. Let me get the IRL AMC Javelin up. Yeah, it's it's actually semi-accurate. And I'm partial to AMC. I'm partial to AMC. My favorite car is an AMC, which I'm sure I've talked about before. And for the third one, I was going to get something called a Vapid Ellie. I won't even put the picture up on the screen because it's kind of garbage and it's way too much work to get the good price on it. So I got something called the Dominator GTT, which I think my mother will find to be her favorite because she does, she, she's okay with the AMC Javelin. She doesn't think it's that awful. She's not all that in Camaros, but she is into this, which if you're not blind, you may be able to tell. Let me throw up the IRL. That's a Mustang Fastback, baby. Now, Mom, I know you're more into the coupe, but you know I'm also a Fastback guy, so... This appeals to me very much, and that was the fastest one out of the three. And I got clips for all three. I'll throw up all three. I don't know if I'll have engine sound for all three, but it's a video game, so it's not going to be all that good. And to be honest, I probably forgot to turn off the radio, so I'll have to cut off the audio for it.
Hopefully you enjoyed that. Just a little clip, something special. Kind of throwback back to when I was doing that. It's been a while. It's been a while because I said I would kind of separate it. But I have much more clips than just those, and I am planning to use them soon. That's all I really did today. That Those clips were actually gotten on at the... Oof. Despite not having like a headache or being very tired or anything like that, I just don't feel very... I don't feel my vernacular is very adequate at the moment. I didn't actually mean for that to be like, oh yes, my intelligence is that of a hypothesis. I didn't mean for it to sound like that. The only word I could think of was vernacular, so I had to say it in kind of a backwards fashion. I, I don't know what's up. My brain's just shutting down. Probably because I've been on nothing but play video games all day. Don't worry, that'll change by tomorrow. I think that's just about all I wanted to show you. To, to wrap up, I do have a music recommendation. I have been jamming to this one for a while. It makes me proud to be from the North, even though I'm so bad at like American history that I'm not even sure Oregon, where I'm from, was even a state at the time. It could have been, who knows, not 100% sure, but it still makes me feel patriotic for some reason. Bam. This, this hits. This drops. Uh, if you do end up listening to this, it's it's just the, the Union Dixie, but like bass boosted and like a different beat. If you listen to this, look up the What Do We Do With A Drunken Sailor song by the same guy. It, you can see the little artist's name in the bottom. That's why I'm keeping it up for a while so you can read it. All right. Away. <laughs> I think they look good, to be honest, especially the Mustang. It's just something about black. Everything looks good in black. But that's all I can possibly imagine in my brain that I could come up with to spew at you for this episode. Hopefully it's long enough to make up for the other ones. I really appreciate you watching to the end. If you've been hearing my computer do its noises this whole time, my computer is on silent. It's just being angry at me today. So don't be angry at me as well, please. I can only deal with so much. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Whatever time it is for you in this weird, wacky, upside-down world of ours, whether it be a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, or a good night that you may or may not be currently experiencing, whatever you're going through, I do sincerely hope it's good. And if it's not, I hope it gets better. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. This has been Overlord Pop-Tart, a man who did not succeed in the slightest about not talking about cars. And I will see you in the next one. Stay frosty.